rooster mode, bro. I'm full on rooster mode. I'm working out. Wow. I do my total, total nutty oh, vloggy. And you know what's something else? I'm going to create a podcast. That's right. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get some women in there. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to get them to understand logic because I'm full on alpha, bro. And you're bro. <laughs> That's right, son. Podcast started. I'm already talking down to ratchet Western women. I'm so smart. Being alpha is about repeating particular phrases over and over again that I don't understand. And see what happened is I started my podcast already and already I got them lined up, bro. They're already lined up and I'm going to teach these women. I'm going to hold mask and frame. Again. Uh, I got it almost perfect. Yeah. Uh, now, now we get ready to do podcast. Oh, bro. I started my podcast, bro. I told the girls to rate me and they told me I was a two. And then I got sad. Bro, team. Beta, bro. Alpha Adam is a freaking maniac. That guy does not understand how to just relax. Smell the roses. Today's going to be a great topic today. Today is going to be a great topic today. You guys are going to love it because it's just always fun. <laughs> it's not very sunny today. But maybe we'll go to the beach anyway. And it's kind of cold out, but we'll see. We'll see, gentlemen. You guys already know we're ready to go. I don't even need this sun hat today. Why? Yeah, you never know. Sun may pop out. It may. I don't know. It's overcast today, but we'll see. Donkey, put your like button. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Make it happen. Do it. Do it now. Become a Legionnaire level one. Join. Become the content you consume, gentlemen. Become the content you consume. Become a friggin' winner. How are you, winner, bro? You don't have a Bugatti. Okay, son. <laughs> if you're in that mindset, then you are way behind. You are way behind. I suggest you pick up the book, The Millionaire Next Door. All right? And you can take all your little fancy get-rich-quick nonsense and shove it where the sun don't shine because we don't do that over here okay 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 oh. anyway it's gonna be a great topic today this is one that we haven't gone over really yet 1200 videos in gentlemen and we're still coming up with new stuff i don't play around let's make it happen i'm talking fast today because i'm ready to explore this is a great one though and as you guys already know to my legionnaires i watch a lot of these dating show podcasts I find it fascinating. <laughs> I, it's, it's actually kind of amusing because I like seeing the guys bang their head up against the wall and get frustrated. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You know, they're like, oh, this is, this is masculinity. <laughs> it's almost like they're throwing a tantrum. And, you know, the girls just look at them like they're crazy. <laughs> oh, my God, I have so much fun. I get so entertained by that stuff. It makes me laugh. Oh, Lord. Soon it'll be uh, fall and I'll be able to take off this sun hat and let my shaved head hit the, hit the cool air. It's going to be beauteous, but for now I need the sun hat because, yeah, it's going to burn. It's going to burn my delicate skin if I don't. Yeah, guys, even this overcast stuff. Anyway, what's kind of funny is you see on all these podcasts the same topics, the same, the same banging of the head up against the wall, and usually it revolves around one important aspect that many of these guys have no idea what they're that they're dealing with right they don't understand the difference between the west and the east just in general and it's kind of rough seeing this this almost car wreck every time and of course it will get views there's no doubt about it but yeah i'm sore oh but it is sad because these guys do not understand one very important aspect of life that essentially not only are men and women different, but the simple fact that 
they really don't understand women at all is one of the main reasons why they keep failing, right? And what I mean by failing is they fail to get across any point to the ladies they're speaking to. They're really just barking up the wrong tree. And it's really annoying. It's obnoxious because for the most part, they're just making themselves look very bright, okay? And what it all comes back to is understanding, John, to my legionnaires, understanding. These guys are busy trying to change American women. And I don't agree with that. Not even a little bit. As we've gone over on this channel, mass holding mask and frame and thumping your chest and all that nonsense is actually just a massive waste of time. Not because they won't follow directions. It's because... These guys don't understand that women keep women in check. Men don't keep women in check at all. And the reason why I know this is because I've grown up in multiple generations full of men who laid down the law and the women in the family kept each other in check. And not only that, that's common for what you see overseas. Even the late great Kevin Samuels was really banging his head up against the wall. If you think about it, because he's attempting to change those that are already in a specific mindset. And he's trying to convey logic to someone who is never going to understand him. And this is what's truly a remarkable for all you guys that talk about you want fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, etc., what you don't understand is, that's already done overseas. It's a done deal. And the reason, one of the main reasons they are this way, the ladies overseas are this way, is because they don't think in logical terms either, gentlemen, but they do understand that men are supposed to provide that to them. Does that make sense? So for example, she knows, most women overseas know, they're supposed to bring their femininity to the table and their emotions and their silliness and bubbliness and bounciness. They understand this very well. And they know they're not really supposed to necessarily understand everything that you say. A lot of the time, you're going to notice your traditional foreign woman is going to be very cooperative because she's going to understand that she doesn't understand. She's going to understand that the logic side is your job, not hers. And you don't have to spend hours trying to convince her. That's what a lot of these dating, co you dating coaches out there and you game guys are trying to do to the AWs. You're trying to get them to be something they're not. And you are doing the exact same thing they're doing to you. You keep complaining I'm starting to shout. <laughs> My neighbors, man. <laughs> and these houses, this guy's so intense. You're trying to make them into something they're not, just like they are trying to make you into something you're not. You guys are both effing each other, essentially. The women are trying to make the men more emotional, and the men are trying to make the women logical, and it's not working. That's the whole point to all you effing dating coaches. It's not working. Not even a little bit. Oh, they're getting through. We're getting through to them. How? How? The marriage rate has dropped precipitously with the divorce rate, dummy. So how is that fixing anything? Oh, well, you know, they're listening and all. <laughs> Guys, are you, for, are you really that? You're just as delusional as the girls that you lambast. <laughs> they're literally completely monetized and you think that they're going to become these innocent little angels it's not happening why are you so why are you guys so lazy that you want to change them what the hell is your problem you idiots are trying to make american women think the way you do they don't need to think the way you do all they need to understand is that we fill the gaps no pun intended 
that they don't have and vice versa. We are not on the same page with American women and it's not happening anytime soon. It's not happening. You keep trying to change them and as you can see, you are failing. You're failing miserably. And I have no problem with podcasts and discussions and all this other. However, the overwhelming narrative of these podcasts is to attempt to make them see it your way. And it's not working. American women don't understand you guys at all. Oh, we got through to Brittany Renner. Oh, then she, <laughs> then she, then she jumps on her. <laughs> oh, then she just caught, <laughs> she, <laughs> she gets off the stream and then she starts mocking you guys. I, guys, this is why I can't even, I can't deal with the Wanisphere guys. I just can't. I just can't, guys. I can't be a part of this nonsense because it is absolutely absurd. Almost as absurd as this chinchilla puff on my neck. Oh, geez Louise. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> oh, there's the three oh fours and uh, let's let's try to beat some sets into it. You guys you guys are really ridiculous. You know that? As ridiculous as I look with my sun hat, my wild ass glasses, sunglasses, walking around. <laughs> <laughs> my neighbors stare at me like I'm a mate. <laughs> they like me though. <laughs> my neighbors are funny, man. They like me, but I was like, what do you do? What do you do? They're always walking around and I see you around town and I shh. <laughs> oh, my neighbors. Now they're cool. They're normies. You, you can't really get into this type of stuff, guys, because it'll just be like ar, ar, ar. But well, let's 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 have a podcast and let's Let's have a discussion. You know, it's so funny because these guys are like, let's have a discussion. It's not a discussion. It's you trying to push your narrative onto American women. And they're not having it. And you know what? I know <laughs> on this channel, I have ripped American women horrifically. But I am with this. I'm, I am with them on this one. Because it's not their job to think like you. They can understand, they can understand us, but to think like us, it's not necessary. And see, that's what's so funny when you do interact with traditional women, traditional foreign, traditional domestic, it doesn't matter. They don't want to think like you. They don't want any part. They don't want to go to UFs. What is up with these guys who are always, always trying to get girls to be like guys? It's not their job. It is not their freaking job. <laughs> Just like it's not your job to start talking about all their feelings and uh, what's it called? Speak like them, which they try to do to us. It doesn't work either way. See, what a lot of these quote unquote gurus do not understand is we're at an impasse and nobody's making any progress. So what's the solution, bro? What's the solution? Guys, we have to start over. We've already gone over this. Many, many. I know I got a lot of new subscribers. My bad. Got to start over, gentlemen. It's too far gone. Oh, come on, bro. Whole masculine frame. Okay. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> oh, you know what's funny? Yeah, you know, every time I've gone overseas, just see guys, whole masculine frame. Guys, you never see that overseas. And yet the girls are plenty feminine. Why? Because the other women keep them in check. The arrogance of the guys in the West is just as bad as the ladies. Not all, but a good chunk of them. And there's a lot of K-leafs over here. What are you little leafs doing? Tiny little leafs. <laughs> We're at the dog park. We play at this. There's, there's like a whole group of leafs. Okay, Leafs. Mm. Hi. Um, I don't know. What are we doing? <laughs> Let's go running. What the hell are they freaking doing? Just like standing around. Anyway. Yeah, I I'm kind of, I'm kind of sick and tired of hearing these gang gurus and knuckleheads all saying the same crap. 
I think American women do not understand you knuckleheads. They just don't. Why is it so goddamn windy? Maybe because it's overcast. There's a lot of knuckleheads out here. See, whenever, whenever, whenever a camera comes around, they get real noisy. Let's go to the beach. Hey guys, pay attention. Pay attention. I know there's a bunch of little leaves. Leaves. Can I get... This is going to be challenging. Let's just go to the dog park. Go to the beach. Have a good old time. Hey, Kayleaf. Welcome. Kayleaf, look, Kayleaf looked a little stressed out. <laughs> she looked a, she looked, Maybe she didn't get her water or something. Let's go down to the beach regardless. Dog park time. See, summertime, even when it's overcast, tons of little K leaves during the week. What are they up to? K leaves are sneaky, guys. You gotta watch out for them. They're like little, uh, little gremlins. You know, you don't wanna feed them after midnight. Don't get any water on them. They'll go freaking crazy. <laughs> freaking K leaves. <laughs> oh, they're tiny. Anyway, I see, I see a lot of posturing. Look, I understand that they mean well, but these guys really don't understand female psyche at all. And they really don't have as much experience as they say they do. Because if they did, they would not be doing what they're doing. And that's another reason. Guys, what's the... Po okay. Sometimes I'll get emails and I'll, I'll get things like, man, you should interview a K-Leaf and bring her on the show and all this. What's the point, guys? I don't, I don't understand. What am I going to do? Debate them? First of all, they don't have the knowledge. Number two, they don't have the experience. Number three, it's going to be just like all those car wrecks of podcasts you guys see out there. You're not a 10. What, what does that do? How does that help anything? <laughs> Rating a bunch of cake. What the hell is the point of it? Guys, I don't understand. I, I have no, I, I really don't understand the point of any of that. You know what? Let's try something different today. Let's go down this road. A lot of people out today. I'm surprised. I thought it would be dead. Oh, surfers. That's why. That's some little leaves. Should I go where the leaves are? All right. I'll go where the leaves are just for you, gentlemen. Yeah, bro. But what the hell's the point of rating a bunch of K leaves or K Lees or Karens? What the? I don't get it. Yeah, I'll get views. So what? It'll give me a massive headache. It will give me a massive headache, guys. And then I'll have to <laughs> do what I'll be talking. And by the way, I don't want to be in a studio sitting there for four hours with a bunch of skank. Oh, Lord. That's a nice cable. I don't want to do all that. I'd rather be out and about with the people in the real world. Guys, this is not scripted. I can't believe I haven't said this in 1,200 videos. This is not scripted at all. Right? This is straight up as real as it gets. Crap, I'm gonna go around everybody. So many freaking people. But yeah, doing all that stuff is, is I, I can't even, I don't even know how much more of a waste of time I can think of in my entire life. You know, let's just go down this road. I can't think of, of a bigger waste of time than doing all that nonsense. You know what I mean? A lot of little Gen Zers out. A couple, I think Gen Alpha? Isn't that the next generation? Oh, little K Leafs doing cartwheels. <laughs> in the in the sand. Oh, it's gonna get noisy. We'll see. But anyway. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a bigger waste of time than raiding people and all this nonsense. And by the way, it just goes to show that these dating coaches will not give up. They will not throw in the towel and they're gonna keep telling guys to hook up and keep doing all this nefarious stuff and just creating more anger. It doesn't matter how many times these guys give quote-unquote advice and try to set the record straight. They're really just barking up the wrong tree. And that's why it's incumbent upon you guys to stop trying to change them. Just leave them alone. Because how hypocritical is it of you to tell them to change and then for them to tell you to change and then not want to do it? 
guys are massive hypocrites, man. And that's really what it boils down to. I don't care which way you try to slice it and dice it and try to make things copacetic and, you know, mask it a certain way. Well, girls are this way, guys are that way. So what? That's a little Kaylee's. Mm -hmm. You know what? We just got done in the ocean. We're so happy. Now we're tired. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. This could be dangerous. But anyway, this little Kaylee's looks like she's okay. She's being good. Guys, sometimes Kaylee's try to just jump in the video out of nowhere. Like little gremlins. So, American women do not understand you guys. They don't. And they're not, here's the funniest part they're not supposed to. It's not their job. Not at all. In fact, their job right now is to be who they are, to get ran through, for all of society to see, and then for us to come full circle in a couple generations. Probably take about three generations. Hey, Caleb. Caleb was curious. And just as much as American women don't understand a lot of these dating coaches and game guys, the game guys and dating coaches don't understand them. Because the game guys and dating coaches, what they talk about is Western ideologies, Western concepts. Now they mix in, they sprinkle in a little bit of conservatism, which is fine. But they really don't understand the full-on traditional conservative side of things, which I have a massive amount of experience in. It's kind of ironic because I grew up in such a liberal city. Yet I've traveled so much and been to so many conservative cultures and experienced them. And been pre I'm very, very fortunate. It's pretty, it's pretty ironic, isn't it? So I get to speak from that point of view, as well as you know, liberal point of view. I completely understand. So unfortunately, we're going to be keep we're going to keep getting a lot of this podcast nonsense, arguing, bickering, because a lot of these guys are inexperienced. It's just. Let's just be honest. They really don't have the experience. As you guys already know, I have a PhD in American women. I've got a master's going on a PhD in traditional foreign women as well. I just got to write up my thesis. <laughs> my second thesis. Gee. Yeah. Yeah. The best thing to do is just leave them alone. Stop trying to change them. Let them be. Let them come full circle. It's Guys, it's going to take time. And here's what's really funny about all these podcasts. These guys are literally arguing with these girls that have mothers that are out dating and being, you know, what's, you know, out and <laughs> they have daughters who are doing that. Guys, it's, it's, it's too late. The game is over. The game was over years ago. If these guys refuse to throw in the towel, I guess, I mean, that's really what you want to do with your life. But I'm not going to spend my life arguing with a bunch of people who really don't understand what's going on in reality. The real world is, is a rough, rough place. But hey, look, it's not up to me. When you guys experience other cultures, more conservative cultures, you quickly realize there is no place for any type of liberal ideology at all. They're going to squash that immediately. And that's why a lot of countries, like China, don't even let their people see these stupid Western movies. Because it's just propaganda. And I can understand where they're coming from, man. They don't want to ruin their society. <laughs> oh, man. You literally... You literally have, oh, boy. You literally have women that believe that they're Captain Marvel. And they get to... Guys, it's, it's too far gone, man. You got to know when to throw in a towel. And for me, I was like, I've had it. And here's the best part. Once you start understanding, life is easy. It's much, much, much easier. But if you have no level of understanding like these knuckleheads, you're going to be banging your head up against the wall, too. You're going to be saying, no, well, this is logic and this and that. Nobody, guys, they don't care. It's all you suckers, all you game artists. Women don't care. They don't care the way you think. They couldn't care less. They don't understand you. 
because their mothers never taught them how men think. Ouch. I'll never forget the first Mexicana I ever went out with. She was so understand. She understood every. She was so understanding. I could not believe of everything. And you've got these fake wannabe alpha alpha queens constantly talking about how alpha they are. How everybody else is. Uh oh, this little Gen Z uh, Gen Z Kelly's running down. This is dangerous, guys. When they start running, it means they want to get in the video. Uh -oh. Hold on a second. Uh, I don't like this. Okay, good. The running in the sand. Shh. Yeah. It's pretty intense. But this is what you're going to encounter most of the time. You're going to encounter a bunch of nonsense. A bunch of confusion. A bunch of guys who don't even understand themselves. But alone, the opposite sex. Easily distracted, easily confused, easily manipulated. And a lot of it has to do with testosterone, right? You know, an approach game and all this other nonsense. And really, all this stuff is pretty much dead. Yet they're clinging on to the ghost of the past. And don't get me wrong, it's definitely can and It's interesting. It's funny. But as far as making a difference, no. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, the TFWs on their side, the traditional form women are so used to having their family teaching them about men and about women and how they think and how they differ. So I was out with this little Latina, one of the first ones ever, and she told me. She's like, I understand it's because you're a guy. I understand. She was so understanding of my behavior. I didn't have, guys, I didn't have to browbeat her and, you know, <laughs> lambast her to death. She understood. It wasn't, there was, and here's what's so, <laughs> here's what's so funny about traditional foreign women. You may not speak their language, but they're still going to understand you. That's what's so ironic about them. They may be, ha have completely broken English. And you may have a broken part of their language, and they'll still understand you. That's what's so crazy. But a lot of you guys are so used to not being understood. And I get it. You want to be heard. You want to be understood. But as far as pounding that into American girls' heads, it's got to start with the mothers. The mothers have to start teaching their daughters and most of the mothers don't even understand. here's what <laughs> you guys are arguing it's all my dating coaches all my gang guys fake alpha queens you're arguing with women who keep telling you that you want their career and they've got a career and they're so attractive they don't even understand themselves they don't even understand what they have to offer you what makes you think you're going to get through their heads it's your ego son your ego is out of control, just like theirs. So maybe it's time to take some, to stop with the hopium <laughs> and stop pushing your narrative, which isn't working anyway, and start to understand that it's time to wrap it up. Oh, Jesus. And that's what's really funny about all this. The passport kings are the ones who are winning. The passport kings are the ones who are changing things for themselves. They understand that sometimes you have to walk away and start fresh. It's just how it is. So, for the next two to three generations, <laughs> until I kick the bucket, I'm going to be narrating the progress. And you guys can look back on this day this past year and some change of how we've been updating guys on what's really going on, where to actually go, and how to navigate your life to give you at least some framework 
as, to, as opposed to a bunch of fantasy. You're going to keep going down this path, gentlemen. It's going to be intriguing. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is men living their purpose. M L T P. It's the only thing that matters. Everything else falls into place. Literally. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, but what about dating? Guys, I've gone over this so many times. Dating's dead, man. It's over. This is another reason why attempting to make AWs think like you is a waste of time. And by the way, they it, this is nothing new. American girls will tell you the same thing. They're done with dating. A lot of them are. They've had enough. And by the way, it was never a thing anyway. It was just legalized prostitution. So I feel for the American girls. I really do. Do I feel sorry for them? No. <laughs> I just understand where they're coming from. So, yeah, just let it be. Let them go ahead. Let the little podcasters and all these guys, they're going to learn the hard way as men have a they have a massive proclivity of doing is having to learn the hard way. You guys don't have to learn the hard way. You can void all these traps and red flags, have a good life, eventually settle down, have a foreign family, and have great kids. And be able to see your kids more often than you would if you had them here in the United States. Because let's not even get started on the family courts. Oof. I, I do not want to be you if you're dealing with family courts right now, so... Donkey punch the like button on the way out. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this mother of the video. And if you're an alpha bro that's pissed off, well, be pissed off. <laughs> you can, you, guys, you can get as mad as you want. You can thump your chest. But the law doesn't care. The law doesn't give a rat's ass about what you think. The society doesn't care. Society does not exist on hyper-masculinity. No society anywhere exists on hyper-masculinity. You need balance. And until the West gets back that balance, you guys are not going to be able to make any headway. Period. End of story. So. Oh, the little K-Leafs did follow. Oh, no, the cave. Oh, Gen Z's. They followed me. Oh, crap. Damn it, guys. Oh, what do I do? I'm stuck. I, can get I don't like Gen Z. Kelly's guy. <laughs> They're always looking to get attention. It's freaking. <laughs> They're so silly, man. They just, they like wait around and then they sneak around and they hide behind things when they see, uh, when they see some sort of YouTubing. You know what? F that. I'm going to keep going. I don't want to deal with Gen Z Kelly's right now. <laughs> I thought about it and I'm like, no. See, they're waiting. They keep looking at me. Guys, I know when, they, when they're when they interested and when they're not. I know what they're up to. Even before they do. I have too much experience. Oh, little Kalu's running towards me. But yeah. That's a long and short of it. You know what the best part is, though? You guys are going to have way less headaches than all these. You think these dating coaches are having a good time? They are not. So, oh my god, it's always a walrus. Always so loud. You know? Hey, Kaylee. Oh, Kaylee. Kaylee's so happy. Or Kaylee. But yeah, you guys don't have to deal with all those headaches. You don't have to deal with any of that nonsense. Or Kaylee's. Mm -hmm. We're running far away. There's a buffalo over here, too. That, you hear all that sh shouting? It's a buffalo. You, you guys, you rarely hear Kaylee's shouting like that. Rarely. So. Uh, yeah, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for the next few generations. But gentlemen, hang in there. Take a chill pill. Start to plan your overseas expedition to become an expat. Start to plan it out. Or... You can stay and keep fighting. That's up to you. You can get on one of these podcasts and wear a suit and act like you're alpha. <laughs> a pill dating coach. I'm a pill. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to know what's funny? You want to know what? <laughs> the 
person who's literally taken over that whole space is an American woman. How funny is that? <laughs> she's literally taken over. And shout out to her. She's, you know, she's a smart businesswoman. She's literally taken over the space. <laughs> and you're telling me. Ay, ay, ay. And you're telling me you're going to change it. Man. <laughs> she's literally dominating everything. And more power to her. She's she's pumping out insane amounts. She's got like 8,000 videos, man. So, it's just funny. That's why for me, I'm just going to keep entertaining. I'm going to keep doing Passport Kings. Passport Birth. Living overseas. Expat. Yes, I will do vlogging overseas. It's going to it's be a lot of fun. I'm excited. I finally get to travel again. Oh, I've got a lot of stuff on my plate, but... I know I'm going to be able to start traveling again and enjoying myself and relaxing and vlogging all at the same time. And yes, I will most likely interview little TFWs, traditional foreign women for your guys, so you guys can understand the way they think. It's going to be great because I will get the information from them and maybe even some liberal foreign women. And obviously, I'll be able to explain how they're different. But yeah, you guys will see. It's, I got a lot of I got a lot of plans for this channel. Don't worry, gentlemen. Until next time, gentlemen. I'm definitely watching you, Legionnaires. So let's get to it. <laughs>